our name for a holler in the hills of Appalachia. I'm Jeremy. This is Showalter Guitars. We are building an Osage Orange and Sycamore OM. It's a cold, chilly day. I remember when we started here, the air conditioning went out and we were all super sweaty and now the heat is on uh, inside the shop. So we're building an Osage Orange and Sycamore OM and uh, it is a beautiful guitar. We're coming down the very end of the process and so I have some fret work to do today and then we're gonna glue the neck on, we'll cut the nut and then I think by the end of the day we will have strings on this guitar. So, with all of that said, uh, let's go inside. And like I've said before, you're gonna have questions along the way. You're gonna have questions about how we're doing things, why we're doing things, and what order we're doing things. Please let us know in the comments down below what you like, what you don't like, and what you would do if you were here. So, let's go see Steve and Joyce, what they're up to. Hey, everybody. Hello. So much fret work still to do, but how are you, Steve? Good morning. I'm fine, how are you, Jerry? Man. The amount of work you get done when we're not filming <laughs> is amazing. So, yeah. Uh, okay, so what do we got going today? Uh, we, you need to finish uh, polishing your frets and put the machine heads on. And then we'd be ready to glue the neck to the body. And then uh, hopefully, uh, well, if we can leave it on there, uh, if at least an hour or two, yeah. uh, then you could, uh, before you go home, tune it up, uh, string it cow. up. That's exciting. <laughs> Ten thousand glittering like holes in our chest. Ball bearings drawn to the magnetic breath Of ten thousand weeping with wings on their tears Permits ten thousand voices for ten thousand years Okay, yeah, so 150 is gonna... I mean, this is how it's gonna look after you go over it with 150 but and i'm actually not seeing like it's hard to describe but it's like you can tell that the lines are going so actually i don't see any lines going this way like of course i see them going this oh way. yeah well i wouldn't have any lines it going didn't them. yeah it didn't have it to didn't right okay okay so yes so have you gone over 150 the whole yes so okay. everything's 150. okay so i would just go 300, 400, still wool. Okay. And it's okay. gonna get shinier and shinier oh, and so shinier. That's what I want. And so satisfying. So, yeah, you're good though. It's a 10,000 graves yawning unlocked and unlatched. Now 10,000 holes with rocks on their backs. The 10,000 tunes gaping wide singing the praises. The 10,000 bodies unlaced and unlaced. As ten thousand highways unfold their doors For the ten thousand standing on none of us shores Where the blood of a husband silences wars For the girl who rises to meet him And she sings words I've over Ten thousand rivers run red like my veins. <laughs> that is the brightest yellow I've ever seen. I think it's time for. Do you do them on here or where do you do them? Uh, no, you, you, you have a, a, a reamer. Uh, I'll show you how to okay. put them in. That's terrifying. Mm -hmm. That was like the scariest thing. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to the scariest part of this, <laughs> according to Joyce. Is this all you have left of the steel wool? No. <laughs> oh, oh, almost. This is just about soft. So thankfully the posts do come through the back. Yep. But they work. No. No, the posts, you have it backwards. Well, that's, but I mean like the diameter of the posts. 
So we don't have to ream on the back. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you don't, that, right. You just have to find, right find that depth. And so you just kind of try to hold that thing straight. All right, try that. Just a hair more. Yeah. It looks like it's about the same depth as the Grover's. This, did, did it go part way in? It's part way. Uh, how much? Oh yeah, that's where you want to stop. Now, what? Why don't we? I got a way to, uh, to uh, actually press them. press them in. But But these you won't get to on some of them. What a tool. You don't want to go too deep with these. <laughs> They'll come out on, this, on oh, that man. wall on it. Can you imagine that? That would be awful. All right, so I got the tape to the depth of the screw. I'm breathing like a choir of holes in the ground where the cynical have leaned. Where the cynical go down Save the gravity of time Let's go over drown Like ten thousand sparrows Unlocked and unwound As the ten thousand highways Unfold their doors That they don't slip off And get your wood Yikes Already... That screw broke. Huh? Uh... <laughs> yeah, that is hard wood. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Well, that's why they sent the extra one. <laughs> well, did they send an extractor? Because this wood's so hard, and, and we are going to have to ream those holes or something. It's tight enough. Why are you scraping on it? Hmm. Probably not still. I think it's great. Right, they're probably zinc. That ought to work. Now wouldn't that be a bummer if you end up snapping two off right beside each other? Don't say that. <laughs> so we did have, and you saw this, we saw, we had a little bit of a hiccup where, you know, uh, the one screw I, I screwed in, it then broke, so then we had to fix and figure it out. The, it's definitely some user error. I'll take 5% of the blame on this. <laughs> it's, the Osage Orange is incredibly hard. And also, as, we, and as we're, we we're talking about this, as you would use other woods, like if you were to do cherry, cherry is softer than Osage. And so you could get away with less um, interference between the size of the drill bit and then the threads in the screw. So anyway, we're going to pause on putting the tuners in because it is time to glue the neck to the body. And so we're gonna do that so that we can coordinate and just get the timing of today right so that when we come back, I can finish doing the tuners. And then after the tuners are done, we can put saddle in, drill the bridge pins, and uh, put some strings on it. Today, I think that's gonna happen. So, all right. Red. All right. Do you need more clamps? Uh, just uh, one, this one does the, this one. Mm -hmm. I need one more, okay. so. All right, now this has got to go fast. Got to be ready. Clean up crew. <laughs> Get here? the glue down along. Okay. 
One clamp. Yep. Give me this, sir. Yeah, yeah. you want. What about? Okay. Let's eat lunch. <laughs> So it's lunchtime now, we'll come back, we'll finish the tuners, and then saddle bridge pins. So, today's the day. Where the blood of a husband silences wars for the girl who rises to meet him. And she seems... Not hardly thick enough, so. And if that's not, that one's not, and that one's not. <laughs> I believe this one. But yeah, this will work. <laughs> That's what you get when you hand make stuff. All right. These marks, I think, are one and three quarter. Okay. I also marked off like right here. And right Actually, here. it's a little bit. This thing is kind of. This thing is like it shouldn't be that confusing to use, <laughs> but it is. It looks good. Mm -hmm. So from right yeah, here. To right here. That was three and six, and this one's two and five. They're written right here. Well, okay, first set of strings. Um, we're still not done filing the nut, but the big thing we're gonna do now is just get the high E and low E, make sure our spacing is good. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have to do maybe one more day of like final tweaky stuff, but let's do a restring, and, uh, and then maybe some more filing on the nut, and we'll get it as close as we can get it today. I've got like 25, 30 more minutes. My thought was bring it up and then like I know pushing down here how much I have. Yeah, you can get the, this in right. Yeah. And then I want to do the truss rod and then that'll tell me okay. how much I need to do back here. He pulled so hard. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds crazy. on the fly. Wow. I hadn't thought about bridge pins. Well, since we changed the bridge, I assumed we were going to do the black ones, but then we, changed, we did an Osage bridge. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm liking that color. Oh, yeah. bridge. Uh, that's Well, that's where we're gonna leave it on this episode. So this was, we covered a ton of ground. What, today we glued the neck on, did all the fret work, put the nut on, put the tuners on, broke a screw into the back of the headstock, and then Steve worked some sorcery. With, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say sorcery. Uh, just being a woodworker for a long time uh, made a, a bad thing a great thing. So this guitar, this is the first time I've actually heard it. So 
I'm not going to play it anymore for you because tomorrow was the final reveal day. So overnight, there are going to be some pictures taken so they can go on the Showalter Guitars website. Now, it's not for sale. Too bad. This one's mine. You can come build your own. And there's a room full of them over there. Um, but this guitar has turned out just, I mean, so much better and cooler than I thought, uh, even from the beginning. I mean, so many decisions were made uh, on the fly. Even today, these white bridge pins still were just a last second, but they are so cool and so good. This guitar sounds excellent. So tomorrow will be the final reveal video, and with that, we will also do, um, I'm gonna bring proper microphones, and we're gonna set up maybe over in the studio or in the showroom over there. We'll get just a really good sounding room uh, and we'll give a proper once over to this. My first acoustic guitar ever built with Showalter guitars, an Osage Orange and Sycamore OM. And uh, this guitar is unbelievable. Yes, Steve, I can't, I can't believe how good this is. So there is Steve. I'll aim the camera down. So that's, that's Steve. That's a great guitar. I, I heard it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we snuck a little bit. That's got some sound. Uh, it's good. excellent. I've overcome you all. I've overcome by my song and the blood of a song.